go. I'm gonna presume everything will work. Here we go. I'm gonna presume everything will work. Here we go. Okay, it all works, but Jesus Christ. My mic is quiet for some reason, I noticed. Okay, it all works, but Jesus Christ. Why did I say it like that? What the hell? Ah. Why did the blue snowball thing change to W ball? Whatever the fuck that means. And sound alerts. He's still trying to convince me. done it before. Okay, is that really the best I could do here? I'm gonna try loading into the game to see if... It keeps already loud all of a sudden, like... Maybe it'll be better when the audio... When it loads into, like, the audio that actually is connected here. Maybe. No? What? Wait. Now my mic's just not working at all. Hold on. What the fuck is happening? Oh wait, I muted the sight. Of course it's fucking... I'm a dumbass. What the fuck is happening? Oh wait, I muted the site. Of course that's fuck. I'm a dumbass. I muted the site thinking that it was an issue with fucking VC face. What is wrong with me? Let me just set that back up, I guess. Jesus. I don't know why the blue snowball changed to fucking W ball. First off, that's not what it is. Second, seriously? Oh well, guess it is what it is. Okay. It has been a little bit, not really, um, hasn't really been long ago by any means, but it's been a decent amount of time, so. That's enough time to make me go, hmm, am I doing this right? Thinking I always question myself for those sort of things, so what do I know? An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in. Okay. Huh? By hitting an enemy's weak points during battle combo will activate a weak point combo, greatly increasing your damage with if each consecutive hit. It's weak against demi-humans, fire, and earth. Connecting Searing Edge to Tearing Thorn. Here I come! <laughs> 
Okay. We found our murderer. More fools from Hella Foods. They hunted me down, did you? It seems that way. Take that asshole. Okay, that's really good. There we go. And we win. And Stream Live is also being a shit yet. program. And Not it's still being a shit program. My revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me! They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? The raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This, I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess even that's not gonna work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcist and get them to call off the search. But why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. All right, then. <laughs> Megasonic thrust, form to imbue Earth. By the way, how on Earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. Okay, then. Right, that's the map button. I'm relearning all the stuff. I've been playing too much Elden Ring. <laughs> So I'm kind of just sitting around. Hidden art damage.
Sure. Can I use it? <laughs> I think I've already passed by this dungeon game, so uh, can I use it? How did the how did the game teach me to do it again? Oh, LT. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy. Cool. <laughs> So I'm just gonna pass through here. But since I mastered some Okay, gotcha. It's been a little bit. I'm still fucking going through. Yeah. You better be ready. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Battle garment. Can you equip it? Nope. Okay. All right, the plants regrow, right? So, did it perhaps grow back up here? No. Nope. I'm pretty sure the game said they regrow. I don't know how long it takes for them to do so, but we'll wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I speak to the bastard? Please. This is Dial's tail. Did you... Did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. 
I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach, and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go! Hey! You don't need to be so pushy. <laughs> That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on! Enhance and dismantle equipment at shops. Enhancing a piece of equipment improves its parameters and provides a chance of activating an enhancement bonus. You can obtain materials necessary for enhancing by dismantling equipment. Oh, you really don't make me do this. With other, you can enhance up to ten. Okay. And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Ah, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Mm -hmm. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. Yeah, fuck Arthur. Oh, yeah, I can dismantle. Right. <laughs> Forgot that was an option. I can see if they master. Oh, okay. Right. Thank you. 
Gotcha, okay. Since we probably won't get you a better... that anytime soon, might as well upgrade it. And since Velvet's gonna hold on to this for a while... Yeah, probably a good idea to have her have that as well. So I'm assuming we gotta go to the shore now to get the shit. Looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. I don't know, mayhap. Wouldn't put it past our luck to not have it, though. Yeet. Get ourselves moving. I should have left him at 69. Damn it. I made a horrible mistake. I'll end this quickly. Make a sonic crash. Quick go. Small chance I've been getting nothing but equipment from these guys. <laughs> Some say that each enemy has at least one unique item drop. Well, we'll be. We'll see I'll the good. Be the good with that. Come on, really? Yep, another amber blade. Fucking bird. Always ready to fight. Disruption. 
Victory is ours. Die, bird. Don't waste my time. Damn. I'll cut down anyone in my way. More battle boots. Nice. You'll be rushed on my blade. Sorry to catch you down. <laughs> Are you really though? Bitch. You'll be rushed on my board. <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even in a dungeon, but okay. Hey, Velvet, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Shit. <laughs> I love Velvet so fucking much. What's up, bitches? She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. O oh, Imperian Inominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I'd been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now.
Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit. I merely boarded without permission. <laughs> okay. You. You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Muggy Lou. Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. Okay. Don't get over the top. <laughs> They were nothing. Yeah, pretty much they were actually nothing. I'll end this quickly. Let's go. Not even worth my time. Hey, let's go. Master both of them. I got nothing else to equip, so guess we're fine off of what we got so far. They were nothing. I did not devour, how dare. There we go. Come on, really? On to battle. You're dead. I don't even know what was happening right Victory there. Victory is ours. I was trying to devour him, but nothing was working. I'm sitting back just like, uh-huh. <laughs> So that's how that's gonna be, huh? This seems interesting. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch. <sighs> Damn. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. <laughs> okay then. We're not even gonna think about helping her. It's... Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Magilu. Rest in peace. 
<laughs> Rest in peace. Not our fucking problem. Don't waste my time. There we go. I won't improve by fighting weaklings. Yes, you better be ready. I devoured both of them. Hell yeah. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. <laughs> Maybe I overdid it. Don't know, man. They were nothing. There was really only two of them, huh? Way to walk up here. Well, I guess technically there was. <laughs> I just didn't notice it at first. Whatever. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Magilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Magilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. True. All right. One last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. Yeah, say so at least we aren't exactly fond of our teacher, if you will. I'm gonna try to avoid conflict. Well, seems I have no choice. <laughs> Well then, let's move on. Hey, time you can't re you die to do All right. Good shit, good shit. And I've already mastered the battle boots, so there's pretty much no point in me using that. But you can use battle boots and that. Yeah. Master skill to give you a focus. Yeah, we'll try to work on that. No, let's fight you. Don't waste my time. Deception! 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 Deception!
Ooh, that was cool. Really? That was actually a pretty decent like follow-up there. Can I grab the item that's up here? Yeah, I can. Okay. I guess while I'm here, might as well open this. <laughs> Was that it? Well, that felt pretty useless to me. Oh well. I guess an achievement's an achievement, really. No matter how you look at it. Always ready to fight! <laughs> Damn, I dodged that one just to get hit by the other guy. Jesus Christ. Come on, really? I love getting a bunch of amber blades, that's for certain. This bitch. Come on, really? Thanks. Yeah, as I say, I can hop across here, right? Which I'm pretty positive is where I have to go. Oh wow, okay. I thought there was like, they just kept on hunting you down until they got you, but no. You'll be rushed on my grave. We're finished here. Let's go. Alright, got that mastery up. But all I got is blood blades and amber blades. In other words, nothing else really worth noting. As unfortunate as that is. Wait, when did Velvet get more HP than Roker up? You know, whatever. <laughs> Shit happens, I guess. Okay, I couldn't jump across that even if I wanted. Oops. 
You'll be rushed on my board. Let's go. I'll cut down anyone in my way. There we go. Firing mastery. Let's see. Actually, let's give you the resist ring for now because once Velvet gets mastered for the fire ring, I want to get her. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Well, you know what? I tried to be cool with it, okay? I tried to be smart and cool with it. On to battle! <laughs> I'm surprised that he didn't fucking. There we go. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Not really a weakness hunter though, game. I kind of just see it and then I'm just like, yep, yeah, I'ma kill it. Let's go. Come on, really? That was like nothing at all. <laughs> Fucking completely obliterated them. I could have used that instead of wasting an item. Well, Fuck me, I guess. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works. When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. No! Okay. Listen to me! Artorius is! He's going to! Are you alright? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If 
you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. <laughs> We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. We should just kill Arthur. I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to fucking kill him. He a bitch. <laughs> Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. This is gonna be a hell of a... I can't think of a joke. <laughs> that reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. <laughs> Say what you will, man. Say what you will. So we're just going for a straight frontal assault, eh? I don't mind, but what the fuck? Don't waste my time. There we go. Not even worth my time. Yeah. Who goes there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. Okay, then. <laughs> Not even worth my time. All right. Well then, let's let's move forward then. The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. demon lady you're here you're the demon that escaped the island what if I am you hurt my dear Oscar you will pay for that slowly okay sure whatever you say I am honor bound to Aver. Huh? What's wrong with my left arm? I don't see anything wrong with this. Oops. I guess you could say hand slip. Oh, 
You like my combo? <laughs> Oh, of course there was another enemy there. Let's go. I admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work. <sighs> Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. <sighs> well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. <laughs> now that's funny. What? Our store is a flamestone! <laughs> Rokuro! I'm with you! doing after them lady teresa the ships the port it's all on fire <sighs> orderlies put out the fires at once i didn't cause that <laughs> yay level up to set sail. But I'll take it. Oh, 
shit. Damn, I tried to defend against that. Okay, item. Praetor Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two. <laughs> the kid's gonna blow himself up. <laughs> to think you were a demon. The crybaby exorcist. I wasn't crying. <laughs> two praetors, not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and we're taking the kid with us. Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helaviz is no more! Curse Whoops. you! Curse you! I didn't do shit. Such ghastly demons. The Abbey, no. Lord Artorius himself must be informed. Yay! More XP! Hurricane Thrust. Pog! Pog! Fuck. Some enemies increase strength in a certain... Yeah, I can't read, so... <laughs> well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <laughs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. <laughs> Keep our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> he does look like Laffy, though. I think it's a partial reason you took him along. a right old conflagration don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon you certainly didn't leave them much of a port though i wonder if the town will ever recover 
How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Magilu's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel! I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you, Rokuro? What do you got to say? You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. All right, what about our you, Our destination Dale? is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way, What'll happen then? Velvet! How's our heading? Oh, this is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh. Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? If that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're... ordering me to answer? <sighs> right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> What? That flag. It's got to be High Fleet's pirate crew. They've got a bead on us, folks. And in case you haven't noticed, we are really equipped for sea combat. I think we'll be fine. Okay, well, we could be better. To land them! We can fight them there. Okay. Look at that. They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. Aren't you going to be one of our party members It'll soon? It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. Okay. A Moloch? Uh... Okay! You're just gonna be on our side now, huh? Why? <laughs> Child, you confuse me. Pirate? A sword, twin blades, and paper. No pendulum that I can see. <laughs> Hurricane! 
How'd you like that, bitch? You passed the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. So what? We're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. Okay. And I, I guess number two is gonna be staying with us, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Healing skills, but require time to cast. I'm okay. I don't know why I'm reading in my head. I guess I just don't want to read, but still, Jesus. Oh my God! There's so many things. <laughs> I'm gonna forget it all anyway. Brother. <laughs> I'm gonna forget it all. So why bother trying to memorize everything when we know damn well I'm gonna forget it all in the end. Heal. <laughs> At least that's what I'm assuming we're gonna go with here. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the gates is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? <sighs> there is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. We just end up shipwrecked. <laughs> Fun. And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. <sighs> He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. 
We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? The pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough! If forward lies destruction, and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! And yet, you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't. <sighs> Damned idiot. That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Hmm. <sighs> we both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. Okay, but before we do... <sighs> Looks like, yeah, only velvet can wear. I wonder if I got rid of a belt I shouldn't have. Well, we'll, f <laughs> we'll worry about that later. <laughs> How about that? that since I'll probably have that equipped for a while same with you having that on Need to upgrade everything that's needed, really. Okay. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Ifrid's pirates. Ifrid is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Ifrit is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Ifrit and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. True, like I got the fantasies of how I'm gonna kill fucking Arthur. That douche. Kill that asshole. Earth ring. Well... <laughs> I still need to get that boost up, so that's fine. We'll work with it when we work with it. That's how, that's how it will work. I can give Velvet an eye patch. I'm doing it. Alright. 
This seems like a fun area to be in. <gasps> what the hell is you? Sorry to cut you down. Okay, so I can order him to do specific things. Interesting. Thank you. Drop brakes. Bam! I've already been taught this shit. Oh god. Don't waste my time. One, two. Uh prior prioritize defense, yeah. Number two isn't high on HP, so we do gotta be a little careful. Uh, There's another one alive? Let's go. Come on, really? I hope I'll get some items soon that like ready to fight. maybe change the hair color of some characters. That'd be kinda cool. There's like a lot of like RPGs that would do that, so. Sorry to cut you down. Got an amber bag. Okay, it's for number two, but you know. Looks like it's just these that are over here and some enemies to fight. Which you know, that's fine, it's there. <laughs> hurricane, hurricane, hurricane! I'll cut down anyone in my way. All right, number two. The level is number two. Eleven. Okay. Duly noted. What's up, asshole? Always ready to fight. What the hell? Is that all you got? There 
There we go. We're finished here. Let's go. What noticed me this time? Oh. Yeah, let's actually play as you. Let's see what you do. I'll cut down anyone in my way. I don't know how the heal thing works. If I can, oh, wait, something happened. Something happened, I don't know what it was. Asteroid or something? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Uh, void ring, yep. Just so that way we can keep on giving him the guy keep on getting the mastery rank stuff. And you naturally didn't get anything new, but This seems interesting. So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails, I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. Mm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away, and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. Okay then. And now he's in our party. How many people can we have in our party anyway? Like,
Focus on defense and healing with some attacks as long as own HP is above. Well, that sounds stupidly situational. Okay, and what's he got? Wristlet, memory locket, waistcoat. God fucking everybody just wants to use this shit, huh? I think that that's a good idea, and then I see them fly off, and then I realize how much of a not good idea it is. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. <laughs> I'd forget about it if I were you. <laughs> yeah, true. This isn't a power we exactly wanted to have. I love the interactions with the characters. That's what I miss about these kind of RPGs. It's just the interactions between everybody. Maybe that's why Monster Hunter World was so boring to me in comparison to God Eater. At least Rise has fun gameplay, but I don't know. Bitch. Always ready to fight. <laughs> That wasn't worth the effort. I don't know, it could have been. You'll never know. Amber pendant, memory lock it. Damn, these enemies are persistent. There we go. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. I don't know. Maybe you did, but maybe you also did. Soul Taker, huh? That's a new. Hmm. Whenever we get more like plant items and shit, we're gonna definitely need to uh, give some health stuff to number two, without a doubt. Okay, <laughs> listen. There seems to be like two ways we can go. I'm gonna go through this way and see what we can find. Probably a cool item. Well, sometimes you're just wrong when you do things, you know? Sometimes you just gotta accept that you're wrong when you're taking guesses at things. 
You'll be rushed on my bed. Come out. Oh, I got him. There two of them. They win. Come on, really? Hmm. Look at all these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malakim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. We are not exactly normal ourselves. All right. You can use kindling to burn vines and other obstacles and open a way forward. You can also burn vines on rocks to examine them. Interesting. This is the Oh my god, that made me pretty much almost different. Okay, sure. Unarmed. Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? What else is on me? There we go. Well then, let's move on. Let's see, I don't know where we're really meant to go, so... Going by my judgment, I'm gonna assume this area over here is... Probably first, probably a side area for like items and stuff, maybe. Or worse, the path will just, uh, keep expanding. Move it or die! <laughs> Sorry to catch you down. Alright, Battle Boots Mastery, hells yeah. <laughs> Already got all that mastered. Good. I'd rather have these two master their own things before I 
They're both waistcoat. Oh, one's waistcoat plus, right. I was like to say, like, why the fuck? We're at 105 of these things, so that's pretty fucking good. The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing, then. Not even remotely. <laughs> uh. <gasps> you all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Eisen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead. Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? Ah, I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malakim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malakim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> ah, shit! Listen, kid. If you're ever in trouble, speak up, okay? If I'm in... Trouble? You said exorcists bind Malakim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time. And we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malakim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malakim aren't mere objects. Malakim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Arturius is concerned, Malakim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. In other words, we're killing him. I'll finish this quick. I don't know why I keep doing that, thinking that I'm gonna land a good hit. I wish I had power like that. No, you don't. <laughs> I'd forget about it if I were you. I get so confused when the camera is like moving around, and I'm like always so lost in where I was previously standing. <laughs> Oh, you asshole! You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Bleep. 
Alright, let's head through here, because it looks like it connects to the other area that I could have gone through, but it did not let me go through. Wait, no, no, it let me go. What the fuck am I saying? Ooh, I could see why going through there wasn't the best option. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh my god. We're finished here. Let's go. There is a lot of them. What the hell? We're finished here. Let's go. Okay, sure. Don't get up. I don't like that sound. Do not have those, uh... There you go. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Alright, so can I really not jump over? Oh, there's a fucking plant over there, too. Fuck, I kind of want to go back and grab that. You know what, fuck it, I'm going to go back and grab that. Because it could be a decent enough plant. Enough warranting to go grab it. And maybe it'll give us a good stat, too. If we're lucky, of course, but... Actually, I just thought about it. That's a long walk. I'm too lazy. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe not the, <coughs> the grandest idea. There's like no enemies here and that's like set set me off different sort of like feels. There's a safe point. Move it or There we go. If you want to live, get out of my way. Damn. Is that an exorcist? Well, regardless, 
the hell are they doing? Some moon rune magic. Turtles! Turtles! Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the white turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope, I'm just a plain old turtles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me, but for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The Turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha! And that old white turtle shop! We believe the customer's smile is what matters most! That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high... Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Zs. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. <laughs> like this. <laughs> much obliged. Well, okay then. I We just threatened this kid. <laughs> we just fucking threatened him, really. I kind of feel bad. But you know, I got shit to do, so I really can't feel bad. Yeah, let's get rid of two of the amber paper. Turtles. I mean, eh. Might as well dismantle the floor. Talisman. Twin charms about to be good to go. We don't need two amber bags, so we'll get rid of one. Especially since this one has focus. Yeah, white turtles. Exactly. That was pretty obvious, at least. Oh, I didn't even realize I had this better version in here. Hold on, oops. My apologies, uh... Aizen? E either way, you, you, you have this better version right here. I'm so sorry, I should have let you have that equipped. Forgive me. Okay, and yeah. Velvet's the only one who can use that. God, everyone can just use these, but... <laughs> I'm assuming maybe these are like female armor and then this is like male armor. That's probably what it is. Maybe. Still a lot. Well, since they already got battle, they got amber boots. There's no need to wear. Oh my god. Fuck, bro. I just realized he's gonna be losing defense when I switch him to the Amber Talisman, so that way I can... Uh, that's gonna be a bit of a bitch. Oh well. well yeah might as well have that I didn't get the enhancement bonus from that shit I didn't even realize 
All right, what's there to buy? Amber blade, amber bracelet. It's for him. We'll buy it just so he can have it later. Amber waistcoat. Yeah, okay. Boost on attack, but it'll boost up defense. Well, nah. I think I'll be fine. There were the coins I could sell, right? At least I'm assuming, yeah. The chipped silver. not too much money, but I'll take it. I'll take some money over no money. We almost got Velvet to master for the fire ring, which is good. Then we can try to get her... Yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. Soon he's about to get the master skill for paralyzing capability, which will be pretty helpful in a lot of cases, actually. I wish there was like some different boots too, but I guess you can't win them all. He still has a he still needs a master a lot, so we'll wait on that. Okay, let's go ahead and save, just so that way we get that out of the way and I don't forget. <laughs> you sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, <laughs> that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the damn truth right there? What are turtles anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakim, so I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? <sighs> <laughs> we'll, we'll let Velvet choose, okay? Velvet is going to treat little number two with respect. I know it. Okay, the chest. And the demons. Here I come! Hey, hey. 
If you want to live, get out of my way. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Is that all that's in here? Other than some other items? Yep, seems that way. Okay, no biggie. Might as well. Yeah, might as well analyze that just so that way it's on the map. I still don't get why they only show chests on the map after you open them. They're not gonna restock, so why the hell should I care? It was one th it'd be one thing if they could restock, but they don't. So really what's the point? You'll be rushed on my turn. How the hell? Oh, didn't even see the scorpion there. Don't get up the Damn it! I have only one fucking star for Velvet. What the fuck? Come on, really? Damn. <sighs> Fucking my soul gauge just decided to not exist for that moment of time because of those bitches. That's a first. Put it on the list of things that fucking happened to me because reasons, I guess. I don't know about you, but that's annoying. Okay, sure. We'll wait till you've earned a mastery of this stuff. Your Come on, really? Fucking seriously. Oh, and I can't devour. Come on, really? Cool. You can learn new moves. I don't like fighting the scorpion. I'm gonna be fucking honest. I'm gonna be honest. My God. There we go. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. What'll it take to make you go all out? I don't know. Good question. Ah, I, I, I saw that. 
Okay, master that for art attack. And art attack when HP... Oh, that's situational, but... A thingy is a thingy, so, I mean, I guess I'll have to deal with it. On to That works. <laughs> kind of, barely. If you want to live, get out of my way. Firing. There we go. So now you can go ahead and equip Shadow Daggers, which Master Skill will give you more attack, which I am a big fan. So you've mastered all the boot types, so that's good. Earth green, earth type damage reduced. Okay, that does sound helpful. Might as well get to uh, mastery. Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martell the goddess. And Daos, the demon king. The Book of Ragnarok, chapter 765. The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. Anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, are you <laughs> deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. Let's just keep on moving, I guess. You're an ugly looking motherfucker. Let's go. We're finished here. Let's go. There seems to be a decent amount to explore here. I'm curious. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Cutscene says There's otherwise. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it. They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier, all part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. And down the cliff is fucking where? <laughs> I'm assuming the other way, but I want to see what's over here. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? Oh, 
Plenty of plant. Increases defense. Hmm. Might want to give that to you, number two. If you're going to be mainly a caster for the most part, it's best you got some good defense and health. At least that's how I see it. Is that the way in? This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Stop! Those guards are... Careful! They're not what they see! Demons? Oh well. Could be worse. She transformed into demons. What kind of curse is this, Aizen? You didn't I? Well, that was easy. <laughs> you wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. <sighs> in that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find? Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. His, he got light in his eyes! What a good boy. Such, such a good boy. He's the goodest boy. Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Eisen. You're the source of demon blight. Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Eisen. How do we open the sea gate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate then. Uh, oh shit, that was fast of you to notice. I'll me. finish this quick. Four, one. See this? Hold stop. Let's go. No If you want to live, get out of my way. Hey, buddy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Your style is really. Huh? What noticed me this time? Whoa, what are you? Damn. Come on, really? 
keep moving on. Hey, oh, not all the ships left. A battleship. Not good. A fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire strait. It's crazy what the Abbey can build. Until recently, I might not have believed it possible. It's no sweat if you're using Malakim as tools. If Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons, they can also be made a hammer to forge metal. It's another way the Abbey and the Kingdom show their dominance to the people. It says, do not resist, submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting. Agreed. Yep. Damn, look at the water though! That looks fucking good. Thought there could have been like another item or something. It was worth a check. You'll never know these days. Okay then. This door should lead to the gate, but it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. Oh. The one steering. <laughs> Indeed. And my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. Then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. Oh, wait! The key is in the control room. It's through there! <sighs> One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Well, thank you for handling that. It just comes <laughs> naturally. <laughs> Does it now? We need that key, but we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? <sighs> Let's start searching. Okay. So that's where we came out of. We go that way, that way, that way. Oh my god, the options. There's so many options. They're just wanting me to lose my mind. You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. 
I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. Do you really never use them yourself? No. Not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them. And once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blade separated from the hilt and went flying. That sort of thing. Damn. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body. That's one less thing that can go wrong. It's too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, if the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, those two are just like... Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pirates under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire. But it seems Arturius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under exorcist command. We aim for the exorcists then. The harder they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? I'd rather cut them, actually. Uh. Okay. <sighs> Boy, this is where we entered it from. What, what was the little, uh... Anthem? Oh. What? <laughs> the fuck? I don't understand. Yeah, line them all up. Let's go. <laughs> Victory is ours. Up we go. Oh, what the shit? They were nothing. I guess so. Saw some. I just forget everything that I have, apparently. Oh, they'll be highlighted with new ones, Master. Okay. Amber Talisman. Ooh, that heavily boosts down attack. 
Oof. I hope he can still hold his own. Guess we're just gonna have to see what happens, honestly. Did he just go invisible? Boost up defense. Yeah, again, give that to number two. I don't really know where I'm going, to be 100% honest with you. What the fuck? If you want to live, get out of my way. It won't open. It's locked from the inside. That's a real thick door, too. This must be the control room, right? That's my guess. We need another way in. That window would probably work, if it wasn't all barred up. It looks like a standalone building. Maybe we can find something on one of the other walls. Hmm. Well, that works. <laughs> Shit, this bat just decided to spawn into existence. Yo. Another victory. Natural waistcoat? Wait, have we already gotten something like that? Oh, yeah, that's for that. Okay. Well, never mind. I was th I was thinking, okay, that's got to be a new item, right? I've never I don't recognize it. Of course not, though. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. Ah! Aha! Found it. Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The... the bump is? No. I'm talking about the pain. But... but I'm... scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? You like this, right? I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it. And I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. Oh. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. 
After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Understood. You found it? <laughs> now we can get that gate open. We needed a compass, too. Nice work. Thank you. Oh. Now to take care of that ship. Right. To the docks. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Uh, my compass fell on my head and gave me a bump. Let me take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big one. Bet that must hurt. Yeah. But at least I'm still alive. Are you saying that pain is proof that you're really alive? That's what Velvet told me. <sighs> well, no worry. I'll just push your bump back down, you'll be good as new. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. Stop fooling around, you two. We have to hurry. Once we get back to the ship, just borrow some sugar and rub it on your bump. It'll make the swelling go down. Oh, okay. Damn it. I promise I'll I won't get quickly. mad if you talk. Okay. Damn. Victory is ours. Okay. Hmm. You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's Moritz silk. I've never heard of Moritz silk. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen, it's soft as a baby's skin, it's light and stretchable, it breathes, and okay, it's quite durable. Okay, that's a lot of descriptions. But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs impact. At... My, but you're quite the scholar. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is, your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right? All right. All right. Oh, now I gotta figure out how to get back to the area and go straight upstairs. Son of a bitch. As if I wasn't lost at all. Oh. Yeah, fine, we'll fight. I'll finish this quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why can I not fucking devour my enemies? <laughs> Your style is really unique. Let's keep on going. Head straight upstairs. Wait, is there anything else in this room? Probably should check. Yep. You'll never know when you need these items. Hmm. 
Bot reduced. Nice. Nice. Just a fun fact, there's a there's a second version of Okay. I don't know what I did down there, but I sure did. Plain paper? No. Fuck you, game. It does boost art attack, though. So, you know what? Sure, why not? Probably grab these. How do you plan to stop the battleship? It's equipped with large cannons. The plan is to use their gunpowder against them. You're fighting. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Victory is God, ours. I love the combat in this game for sure. Grace Sheet. Oh my God. 
two of them at that. No one's got any mastery yet, so. I'll finish this quick. <laughs> There we go. The victory is ours. Hey, buddy. On to battle. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we are fucking threatening. Uh-oh, speaking of threatening. An exorcist praetor? The docks are up ahead. Like it or not, we're coming through. Hey, wait. Are you intruders? I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who consort with demons. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style. Stand aside, Aizen. No, you stay back. I'll take care of this one. Sorry. This prey is mine. Oh, Rokuro? By yourself, Rokuro? Let's oh, I guess not. Okay. Get in my way and I'll kill you too. You mocking the Reaper. Go for it. What a bitch. She fucking went down so easily. <laughs> We're running out of time. You folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's... I know. He's holding back. Let's go. <laughs> you better live, my boy. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legged Shigure of the Abbey. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. <sighs> Not entirely sure what happened. Is it done, Aizen? We're set. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. <sighs> well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. Yo! The Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Uh, is that your doing? What? Is there a problem? No. A fine companion for the Reaper. <laughs> is that so? Everything's ready. Let's get our gate on. Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder, I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushiyamada? I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why, are you interested in cooking? No. I just heard they were fine blades. Thought one would make a good gift. Don't. Kushiyamada knives are cursed. Hmm? 
The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. I've heard they use the blood of women they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Such is the fate of House Rangetsu. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose. <laughs> okay then. I love those little interactions, they're so good. Alright. Let's move forward. I don't exactly know where we're going, so... <laughs> Oh, it's supposed to go to here anyway. All right, let's see. All right, it's open. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. All right. Quickly. Shit. You're fighting. There's a fourth map There's a bunch of things in my way. Any pity or compassion from me. That's our girl. A bunch of fucking talismans. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Alright, mastered. Now go ahead and have these battle boots on because it'll also give you focus, buddy. He's a good boy. We'll give it to Velvet. Oh shit! I just remembered the command and I didn't. 
You know, I don't know why I didn't think that was what was gonna happen. It seemed too painfully obvious. This opens the gate. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. Why is it just here, though? All right, let's find the other device. Ah, I got it. Don't get overpowered. Let's go. Come on, really? Yeah, I was gonna say, the devices would definitely be like side by side like that. And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. Well, wait, before we do. I don't like that. But it was there, so I might as well, you know. I can't let you do that. This is my... This is my... This is my fortress! <laughs> oh, not again. I thought we told you to keep it in the bag. Oh, now what? Yes. Hey, hold up. 
The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? <laughs> Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the I Freed Way. Okay then. Are we getting an anime cutscene? Shit, what? It's coming at full speed! Let's get a move on then. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? <laughs> Number two, don't even think about it. I guess we're safe then. <laughs> Paper. Yep, that's some good masteries. You'll love to see it. You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. Oh. Listen, kid. Give me one false reading and your shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um, what's Luffy said? <laughs> it's a name. Your name. My. My name? Luffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Magilu. <laughs> We're through the channel. Give us a course, Luffy said. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris. And thus our journey continues. Ah. Now this is refreshing. Sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes. I'm glad. This won't be a problem, docking a pirate ship here? So, how were the Northern Seas, Aizen? Helavis and Vortigern are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. The island prison overseen by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. I see. So they exchange information for mooring. Information... for mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Aizen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. <laughs> Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logres. I've never been there, though. And Velvet, your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all headed to the same place. Well, how about I that? I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. Okay. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Alright. Well, now he's named Lafisa. Okay. That's, that's gonna feel a lot of things for me. Alright. Duly noted. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here now. 
Uh, let's see. Who shall I raid slash host? Maybe I'll just actually end the stream right now. Just... Yeah, I'll, I'll just end it. Yeah, it's no big deal. Next stream I do, I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I'll figure it out when I get to it. Um, maybe something fun. I don't know. <laughs> you know. I'll just get to it when I get to it. I'll probably take tomorrow off from streaming and then stream the next day, but we'll see. Anyways.